Hey guys, today I'm going to show you face direction, why it's important, and how to let Blender tell you which way your faces on your model are pointing. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I've made this quick little model here, nothing too fancy. Now, I don't know which way my faces are actually pointing. And an important thing in 3D uh, is the faces in most 3D programs, they actually face a certain way. Even though like I can go on the inside of this object and it looks the same, like the inside looks the same as the outside, the faces actually have a specific way that they face. There is an inside and there is an outside is basically what I'm saying. And that's important for a few things. Like for example, if uh, you have a normal map, it will face a specific way and it will look the reverse if you look at the wrong side of it. Uh, so that's why you want your faces to be pointing the right way. And there's a b bunch of other reasons like uh, how alpha works. Um, and it's important to know which way your faces are facing. So to tell with this, there's a couple of cool overlays. So in Blender, we have this button here, which is our overlays. Now, if we turn off this button, it just turns off all that information in our viewport so that we only see the objects in the scene. But it's great to have on because it shows you all the important stuff like the grid and objects like lights and all that and a bunch of other stuff. If we bring open this drop down, there's other settings that we can turn on. And we want to come to the bottom and click the face orientation box here because it's checked off by default. We check it on and suddenly the faces on our objects become highlighted a certain color. Now, if they're facing the wrong way or they're facing inside, then it will be colored red, as you can see here. But if it's the right way, it will be colored blue. So you can see that my faces on this model are actually inside out. They're facing inwards. And we can tell this if we go on the inside of the model, you'll see that it's blue. So technically, the right way is actually on the inside of this model. But what if I didn't want that? What if I just wanted the correct facing to be on the outside, which is what you would expect? Then I can easily go into edit mode with tab. And now we're in edit mode. You can also edit enter edit mode through this drop down here. We're an object at the moment. Click the drop down, go to edit mode. And now we can like manipulate our object. But what we want to do is just select all our faces with A. Or you can just go into wireframe and just box select everything. And once everything is selected, we press Alt N. So Alt and N. And then that brings up the normals drop down. Now we can click flip and then that will flip it the right way. So there's a bunch of other cool settings that you can play around with to manipulate how your object looks because the normals will also affect the smoothness and how our rounded faces and different shapes on your object appear. But that's all we're going to do this time because now that our, our faces are pointing the right way. Another way to see your face direction is through normal orientation. Now, now that we're in edit mode, uh, we can actually go to our overlay again, and you'll notice it looks quite different. There's a bunch of other settings that can be seen while in edit mode that we can choose to have on or not. And the one we want to turn on is the normals down here. So normals is another name for the direction of the faces and various components like edges and vertices on your model. So if we hit uh, one of these buttons, so we'll start with the first one, which is just vertices. We'll see which way our vertices are pointing. So you can see, uh, I'll actually just go out of edit mode for a moment, back to object mode, and we'll turn off the face orientation just to clear up our model. There we go, now it's not bright blue anymore. So I'll go back to edit mode, and we can see all those lines have appeared because we turned on our normals. Uh, now we see the direction of say this vertice is pointing straight up. And that makes sense because like that's where all the edges intersect and come to this vertice uh, and it sort of points away from all that straight outwards. And then if we go to here, we have these two edges meeting at this vertice and it points outwards from there at a 45 degree angle. And we can see that also here at this apex here where it's pointing outwards. And so that's showing you all the directions of each one of your vertices. Now, if we hit the second box, which is split normals, you'll notice they're all color coded, so you can have them all on at once. So 
Uh, we've now got these pink ones, which is our split normals. And that's showing us the split off different directions of our vertices. So basically the blue one, which is the first one we turned on, is basically the average of the normals, where it's averaging all the different uh, edges that are coming towards this apex, whereas the split normals shows the direction of each edge that comes to create the apex uh, here. So it comes in this direction, it goes in that direction, and it goes in that direction. Now, the third one is the face normals. So that's just going to show us the direction of all our faces, which is pretty, pretty simple. It's just pointing out straight from the middle of the face. And this one's pointing out, that one's pointing out. And so, yeah, it's all uh, fairly easy to see and fairly obvious. And yeah, we can see that it's pointing the right way. So if we were to go in, you can see that we can't see any lines and that's because our normals are facing outwards. If we were to select everything again and then Alt N to bring out our normals uh, drop down, and then we click flip again, we can see it's now inside out again because we can't see those lines. If we go inside, we can see all the faces are facing inside because these lines are coming in. So yeah, those are the two overlays. You've got your normals uh, to show you all your edges, vertices, and face directions, which are here. And you can also change the size there. So uh, if I go inside and then I just change that size, it will change the length so that it's easier to see the length of those lines. But yeah, that's how you see it in edit mode. Otherwise, uh, using the orientation in object mode keeps it pretty simple. It just color codes it to where it's facing inside or outwards. And yeah, it's pretty easy to tell once you've turned that on. And you can just use the normal drop down with Alt N to change various settings or flip it if you want. And also recalculating is also important because it will actually determine by itself whether the model is enclosed. And if it's enclosed, when you recalculate outside, it'll automatically set it to face outside. So just doing a quick recalculate inside or outside, depending on your model, will automatically usually fix everything. But in case it's not quite working, you can select all the bits that are inside the wrong way and you can just flip it. So I can just grab these two, flip it, and you can see it's now flipped. So yeah, you can do that manually with the flip. Otherwise, just use recalculate and it can uh, sort everything out. So I'll try it again. If I recalculate outside, see, even though there are some that were blue and some that were red, it's automatically decided it should all be facing outside. But yeah, those are some good settings and overlays to help Blender tell you which way your faces are facing. Now, just as an example, I'll go into rendered mode. So I'll click Z and that'll open up this wheel. I'll click rendered. And we're just using the EV render at the moment. I've got a HDRI set up, just lighting our model. And we'll see that it looks fine. Like everything looks right. It looks like it's facing all outwards. Uh, but if I were to click back face culling, which is this checkbox here in the settings in our material tab, and I click that on and we'll see that suddenly some of our faces disappear. And it's like, well, what's going on there? Well, that's because if I were to turn on my face orientation overlay again, we'll see that the outside of our model, if we go back into solid view, it's red. So that means that our back faces are technically on the outside and our back faces are, are the incorrect facing of our model. And what back face culling does is to save resources is it basically makes all the back faces invisible. So if we go to render view again, yeah, we can see that all our back faces have been culled or removed and we're seeing the inside which are the correct facing faces. And that's why the inside looks correct because it's blue. But then if I were to flip this again in edit mode, there we go. Uh, we see that it's all uh, appeared again because now the faces are correctly facing outwards. And if we go on the inside of the model, which is the red part, or the incorrect back facing area, it's invisible because now the back faces are on the inside. And so yeah, that's just another good test as well. Turn on back face culling while in EV renderer 
and you'll be able to see which faces are correctly there. If they vanish, that means they're inside out. So, yeah. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a like and subscribe if you did, and there'll be more coming soon. Bye, guys.